Hey everybody, you're listening to Crystal here with the Plant Pusher Podcast. And what's really, really exciting is that we're here with you to always talk about all things plants, colors, textures, shapes, their impacts on your life. I love working with plants. I love introducing you to new plants. And here at Plant Pusher, that's what I do. I push you straight to the plants. Hey, this is your favorite plant pusher pushing all the dopest plants on you. My name is Crystal, and I am so excited that you tuned in today to the plant pusher. Today, you know what we're talking about. Think about it. It's grainy. It's good. It's filling. It's colorful. It's amaranth. And I'm excited because amaranth not only is an ancient grain, but this grain is highly nutritious, it's versatile, and it's been gaining popularity in recent years. You know, because everybody needs a new bandwagon. But this one is not new. It's actually a vintage herb. It's ancient. It's doing all the things you need to do. Complexity of flavor, fiber, earthiness, and nuttiness. You can do the same thing with this grain that you could do with rice, or you could do with couscous, or any other grain you choose to work with. So I'm really excited because I feel like amaranth, It's in being an ancient grain, it's been cultivated for thousands of years. It was a staple food for the Aztecs and for other Mesoamerican civilizations. So, you know, due to its association with pagan rituals, y'all gave it a bad rap, okay? But it's back. It was banned by the Spanish conquistadors during the colonization of the Americas. But since you guys are falling in love again, it's coming right back to you. And so I want to talk to you about the health benefits of amaranth because this grain is a nutritional powerhouse, baby. It's packed with essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It's an excellent source of protein containing all the essential amino acids that make it a great option for vegetarians and for vegans. So, you know, think about it. When you want to liven up a new dish, you want to chop up some sweet potatoes, some peppers, some onions, uh, sprinkle your favorite, you know, seasonings and herbs on it. You know what? A little rosemary sounds really good on that. Clearly, I'm hungry, but I want you guys to try it because a lot of times we get bored with our daily routine. You need a grain that's going to give you a kick and that's going to go a really long way. People always ask for you plant lovers. You know how we are. Where are you getting your protein? Are you going to have enough protein? We got the protein. The plants are given. Amaranth is here. Please don't forget about it. Okay, I'm really excited. I want you to consider it because it's also rich in fiber. It aids in digestion and it helps maintain a healthy weight. And, you know, we had good food for the holidays. You know, some of y'all put a little pound or two, but we're not going to call anybody out. And so, you know who you are. We got work to do. We're going to get to stretching and eating this beautiful grain. So I'm excited because I want you to remember that not only is the grain fibrous and nutritious, but there are some additional health benefits. Amaranth is gluten free. And it makes an excellent choice for individuals with gluten sensitivity or even celiac disease. It's also a good source of calcium as well as iron. And don't forget about magnesium because you need that for your heart. Very important and for sleep health. Don't forget it. And phosphorus, which is essential for bone health. I don't want y'all breaking down when you hit 60 because that's not even old. Okay, got to keep your bones, you know, strengthened. So think about that. Phosphorus is huge for bone support as you age. I mean, y'all cannot be out here drinking all the wine and all the liquor for the rest of your life and think your bones will not pay the price. Okay, I cannot scoop y'all up. Remember that though, okay? So remember that it also contains a unique antioxidant called rutin, which has been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, And it may help reduce, you know, the risk of chronic diseases. I want y'all to be healthy. I want you to really explore the culinary uh, landscape of amaranth because I really feel that it's missing from a lot of our dishes and it's becoming more popular here in Western culture. But in Eastern cultures and also Southern cultures and other parts of the world, it is a staple. So really y'all been missing out. Okay, let's just be honest. Grow some in your backyard, whether it's in a pot, whether it's in the ground, grow some amaranth and tell me what you think about it. You know, cook it with your favorite breakfast side item. Throw some avocado on top. Let's see how you can use it in a variety of ways. I want to see you enjoy it as a hot cereal or similar to an oatmeal. Pop it like popcorn, ground it into flour. Maybe, you know, let's do some baking, some bread, some muffins, some pancakes. Let's give it a shot. You know, when y'all little boot thing wake up in the morning, offer them some amaranth and see if they really here for the, for the long haul. Test them out. I'm all about it. Okay. So amaranth can be added to your soups and stews, and I cannot wait to see how you boost the flavor of this healthy grain. You know I'm Crystal, 
I'm here pushing all the dopest plants on you. And I love when you stop by here, Plant Pusher, and let me show you all the new things that you deserve to try. You have a good day. I'm so excited. Try this grain. Peace. This show, Plant Pusher Podcast, is brought to you by Possibilities Podcast Platform. We appreciate you listening. Stay tuned. Your favorite episode is up next.